In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Todoist to make grocery shopping way easier. So when you jump into Todoist to create your shopping list for the first time, you kind of have two major options. You can change these later, but the first one that I recommend that I personally use is creating a list that has Amazon integration with it so that you can add stuff to your shopping list with your Alexa devices. I'm going to show you how to do that one, but if you don't use Amazon around your house, you can just create a project and title it grocery shopping or something to that case. To add the integration, you're going to come up here to your profile icon, go down to settings, click on integrations, and then browse. Once you get to there, the integrations tab will load, and you'll see Alexa here at the top. Now if you don't see it you can click see all integrations and it will also show up here near the top as well now enabling this integration is going to gain you these shopping lists and to-do lists it'll auto generate those and so it should set everything up for you we'll get into the to-do list one later but it does it is beneficial to have a to-do list and a shopping list and the keywords to trigger those on your devices would be Alexa add pepperoni to the shopping list or Alexa add start laundry tomorrow at 4 p.m. to the to-do list those are kind of the language that you would use with your device to add those items let's start by creating a few sections that we're gonna divide into our stores I'll close that one down we can add some of those add some stuff like that so you can see that you can break down the items that you need by which store you're at and then when you're actually at the store I'll show you what that side of it looks like when you're on your mobile device but when you add something to your shopping list from an Amazon device I'll show you what this is now computer add hash browns to the shopping list I put hash browns on your shopping list. So then it's going to add that here at the top of the list. As soon as it syncs through the Amazon system, it will show up just like it did there. So now before I go to town, I'm going to need to finalize the organization of my list so I can open up groceries and just add hash browns into that list. So when you're in the kitchen, when you're in the car, in the bedroom, wherever you have your devices and you like use the last of something just tell your device to add it to the shopping list and in theory if you <laughs> follow that system you have a better chance of replenishing what you're out of next time you go to town so if you do end up going to town twice a month or maybe you just go through a lot of products on a regular basis your lists can get pretty long and it's very beneficial to group those into what store you're going to be in and that helps you just focus on like what do I need to get at the hardware store and like if there's 70 items on your shopping list for the grocery store like I don't need to like be thumbing through that all the time I need to just look at what's on the hardware store okay I'm gonna open up Todoist on my phone and I'm going to show you what this looks like as well now one of the benefits to having this system is you can actually share this project with another family member in your household if they have a Todoist account you can share that project with them and then you both have access to adding and subtracting items from this list so when Steph and I are in town and we go into a store that we have 50 items we need to get we typically grab two shopping carts and split up and what's really cool that I can show you guys with this so you can see I've got Todoist open on my computer and Todoist open on my phone now the same would work if you have Todoist open on two different phones if I here on my computer check off that I put trash cans trash bags in the shopping cart you'll see within just a couple moments trash bags will disappear off of my phone as well and then if I check off onions on my phone you'll see 
it works the same way. The onions will get ticked off on the other devices as well. So when you're in the store together, split up, adding stuff to the shopping carts, you can see in in an almost live way that what items are still remaining to get picked up. And especially like if you guys do plan ahead, like I'll start in the produce section, like you start in canned goods. Like it's that that's very easy to like split up so you guys aren't like going after the same thing. But when you're shopping a ton in town and you have a couple hundred items to get, it does speed up the process a lot. So another thing you can do is you can actually group things by meal if that's more beneficial to you. So say you have a pizza dinner and you're gonna add your ingredients for that dinner. And then when you divvy out for the week, say you make a bunch of sections for the meal plan you have for the week, you can then add the ingredients into that if you're just gonna be shopping at like one grocery store. You could sort that way. And then if you do do that and you put all of your uh, ingredients for a recipe in here, you can actually start in your own kitchen. And if you say have cheese, you just check cheese off the list and sh kind of shop your kitchen before you go to the store and shop. So there's a, there's a, a couple other ways you can do this as well. But it's very nice when you put the last little bit of olive oil in the pan and you can just say, Computer, add olive oil to the shopping list. And then, put olive oil on your shopping list. within a couple moments, I know olive oil's been added. And then when I come in here and I organize it, I can just open it up and drag it into the store that I want to shop for it at. And I'm ready to go. So I hope you guys found that helpful. I will be doing a few more of these as well on how I set up to-do lists and how I manage my own day-to-day -day productivity.